All right, hello YouTube. This is an area of strong winds pushing into St. Petersburg, Florida. We're getting rain-cooled air outflow from thunderstorms over Tampa earlier. These storms are not severe, but they did go strong and quite a cold pool pushing out because of rain-cooled, evaporation-cooled air underneath the, the main base of the thunderstorm. And so now uh, these winds are rushing out so this, uh, we did not get a West Coast sea breeze today, so this is an unopposed East Coast sea breeze. But a large ridge of high pressure off the Atlantic coast, off the East Coast of Florida, is pushing, and I mean pushing, these storms very quickly east to west across our state. So our weather will continue to feature scattered showers over the next three to four hours as this cluster of thunderstorms moves through our area. The best chance of thunderstorms will be uh, north of Tampa Bay, north of St. Petersburg. So areas like Clearwater, Pasco County, Newport Ritchie, you're probably gonna get a good, good dowsing of rain, get your umbrella out and prepare for it to be a little bit of a wet drive on the way home because you have that rain coming towards you. So as you can see the base of the cloud moving in. Look at the base of that, check that out. See those low level clouds underneath? So this isn't a super windy storm. This is not one of the severe storms, the strongest storms, but there is there's a bit of a, um, a kick to the wind. Wow, look at look at that. Look at all the leaves go flying. It's a good gust. Just a second ago, the leaves just flew. You'll see it again. So you can think of the wind, the atmosphere is a fluid. You can think of the wind and the clouds as their own waves. So just like waves in an ocean, you get you get a series of strong waves and you get like, like pulses. So it'll get really windy, the trees will sway hard as the base of the shelf cloud, rain cooled shelf cloud, is all comes through. And then it'll calm down and then it'll pulse up again. So it'll up, like cycle like that, just like waves in an ocean. getting some good low-level cloud motion here. Low-level clouds are moving quickly east to west around the base of this outflow boundary. There is some rain to our north. The heaviest rain is missing us to the north and the south, but this spot is still worth it because of the palm trees and the views. So I can't complain about the rain missing us, especially since we have so much. We're so wet. Speaking of wet summer, Tampa was well above normal, uh, and so was St. Petersburg, especially during August. September was much drier than normal, October much wetter than usual, so we've had that sort of atmospheric cycle. November is starting off dry, but that is normal for November. We're getting dry fronts each week, but that's to be expected as we head into winter. exciting part, the outflow winds just rotating into the base of the storm. Dirty and outflow. That's, right. that's known as the base. So that's the base of the thunderstorm. And the rain is actually not falling from the base. The rain is falling from the back. So that's why it's not raining anywhere else, even though we got the base of the cloud. Is that all the rain back Yep. Actually, that's where my house is. Okay. So to our, to our north, so north of here, all the rain is, so that's where, that's why I live. And they're, they're getting lots of rain. Gonna make my parents really happy because my mom has all these wonderful plants. So she, she, they smell really good actually. Some of them produce tomatoes, some of them produce bananas. So it's good that they're getting rained on. How far are you? About five, six minutes. And the other thing is that I do expect it to rain here because the base, the, the, not the base, the middle part of the cloud back there was producing rain. It's not raining yet. But it, it will rain. It's gonna rain. That was my brother and I we were wrestling. 
we, we did martial arts, and so we were wrestling when we were kids, and he threw a chair at me. And kept me up. So yeah, if you have two teenage boys and you're taking martial arts and they're learning wrestling, what do you think is going to happen? It's only wrestling. inevitable. shower. Brief heavy rain lasting about three or four minutes. We're seeing big raindrops. Bigger is better. These raindrops are thick too. So they're a definite thickening of the raindrops that indicates the development of the storm because of this. It talks about the air currents, the turbulence of updrafts, which are air currents going up in the atmosphere that push the raindrops really high up into the atmosphere, indicating a stronger storm. So thicker raindrops can kind of tell you that the storm is strengthening because you have the upper momentum taking place with the updraft. Check that out. You get these low-lying clouds. Good catch. Now the palm trees are still swaying. They're going to sway some more as the, the rain-producing part comes in. Yes. This is freaking awesome. Look at those. Look at, the, look at that over there. Those trees swaying and that dark area coming in. Darker base flowing in. 